Hi, Eric. Good that we are here. We t we started to talk about the path to freedom. Yes, right. You mentioned that the path is starting with buying Bitcoin as a new kind of money. I think, personally, it starts with a change of mindset. What do you think? Uh, you're absolutely correct. Um, this is this is actually a topic that I'm I, I'm very fond of, and I I try to speak about as much as possible. The the purchasing of Bitcoin, if you actually do it, uh, uh, and you do it for the understanding that it protects you. Right? Some people could buy Bitcoin for speculative reasons; they just want to make some money. They see it going up, okay, but they don't really believe or understand the real value of it. The real value is that it protects you. But if you bought Bitcoin because it protects you, it belies something else, something more important. Uh, and that is the responsibility that you have for yourself. And responsibility is something that has largely been eroded in the world. When we think about all of the things, all of the natural life processes, right? The things that actually sustain us. We have delegated all of them. People in this country, in the United States, a hundred years ago used to farm. They had at least a garden, right? They grew their own potatoes, they grew their own tomatoes, um, and so on and so forth, but they delegated that to Big Agro. The big, huge agricultural companies now make all the food, and we have become dependent on them for the food. That means that political pressures that destroy the food production facilities could be used to starve us, right? Because we can't, we don't have an alternative. We don't grow our potatoes anymore. We no longer know how to grow, grow our potatoes. And you see that same phenomenon in every field of life. You have kids, you know, people used to educate their own kids. They brought them into the world. They should bloody well educate them, teach them what they have learned about life, but no. We don't do that anymore. We send, we send them to the state. Here, you, you figure out what to teach them, right? What do they teach them? They teach them about sexual perversions and they teach them about left-wing political views and all kinds of things. And, you know, people in the United States, they, um, they're all up in arms because some shooter uh, goes and kills a bunch of kids in school. But you sent your, your kids to school, right? They'd be safe at home. Instead, you're, set, you're sending them off to someone who doesn't care, who doesn't have proper security, right? And you've got no one to blame but yourself. We do this with, uh, with food. We do this with children. We do this with medicines, right? We know the same plans, problem, yeah. That's what true. plans to take, how to cure yourself, how to stay healthy. No, we have doctors that we go see all day. I got a little headache, go see the doctor. I got, I'm sneezing, I go see the doctor. Everything's the doctor, right? And the doctors don't know anything and they don't even care about you, right? All they care is that you show up so that they make money, that's it. We delegate to the, we, we delegate our security to the, to the police, right? We don't have guns anymore. We used to always, everyone was always armed, but we had at least a knife with us. But now it's, uh, you know, the, the governments don't want you to be armed. You're supposed to call the police and there are people breaking through your windows with guns and you're trying to make a phone call, right? And the cops may show up if they even pick up the phone, right? So personal responsibility is the, is the driving factor here to understand that these institutions aren't there for you, that in fact, they're hostile to you and that you need to rely on yourself. And so the delegation of the handling of money the, the what we've done for ever and ever, which is to give our money to the banks, that needs to stop. Right? It starts with the money. And if you buy Bitcoin, you've taken that first step. Now I say go farm, go learn what it takes to grow food, educate your own ki kids, get a gun, right? Go learn about medicinal plants and how to stay healthy. Do the things for yourself that you are delegating in every area of life. And then the society changes in a very meaningful way. Yeah, in former times, there was a mayor or a priest. They were uh, the only people they could read. And so everybody had to believe what they told exactly. them. 
and I think it's 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 dramatically the same way it's it is today. We we have universities, but you just hear what the people ask. I'm a therapist for for more than thirty years, and I'm asking questions some doctors never ask, and I'm I, I don't understand that. And I think it's dramatic in the in in every dimension of life. It's the same issue and the same problem. We have to free our minds that somebody knows it a lot better than us. And I, from my side, it's exactly why we shoot these videos because it's it's a way of we we have to learn the new possibilities, the internet, Bitcoin, or every new idea like the vow opens for every one of us, even if it's totally new. No, I mean, I, th I think you're right in that a, a things have become more complicated, right? More complex, I should say. Yeah. But B, the, the drive to, to control, the, the sort of desire for power has co-opted this complexity to confound. So any one of us is capable of understanding what every one of us, what everybody else understands, right? I mean, I can learn math just the same as you can learn math, just the same as a child or an African or a, you know, or any other kind of person can can understand. Right? We all have the same brains inside our heads. There's language issues and sort of stuff, but you just translate, right? Same set of concepts. They're all perfectly capable of understanding. But the thing is that you then take stuff and you shroud it in in language in confusing language and and i i spoke about this in frankfurt about the fact that the 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 priests today are the you know the the central bankers and they are guarding a secret which is that money is actually very simple the way that they guard it is by creating all of this language around and all this sort of science of finance where they complicate the living shit out of what things are. You know, they have uh, all of these, these concepts like inflation and, you know, uh, you know, arbitrage and all these sort of big sounding and people's heads, they just go, oh my God, that's, that stuff is just above my head. I can't understand it. No, yes, you can. It's actually very simple. And Part of what I think is exciting about what you and I are doing is that we can demystify a whole bunch of that stuff, mm -hmm. right? I can speak to any term. I can speak to any concept within the world of e economics and people will go, oh, that's, that's all it is. It's not that complicated, right? It takes, it takes that demystification in order to bring responsibility. Why don't people learn about, um, uh, you know, how to grow food? Because it's complicated. Oh, you need, you know, special light of a certain frequency and there's like this amount of humidity and this type of soil and all, all of these parameters and you have to go out there and do it, right? Uh, but at the end of the day, just take one step at a time. Learn how to grow a potato. You know, if you've done that, then grow tomatoes. If you've grown tomatoes, then go grow kale, right? And you'll, you'll learn across time. Uh, and, and the same thing for every other, uh, every other area of life, right? Just one step at a time. Yes, about yourself, about the relationships, about uh, growing kids, everything. We did not learn anything about that. And so, but we, we can learn step by step like the kids do. And I think we are, we are in a wonderful movement that this now is getting possible more and more because of VOW, because it opens a lot of possibilities for each and every one of us. Yeah, I mean, um, blockchain teaches responsibility. If you are not responsible for the, the safety of your private key, you may lose your funds. I get calls all the time from people who lost their funds. Yeah. For, for various kinds of reasons. And it's painful, but pain is a useful thing, right? They learn and they go, oh, next time I will do it differently. I will take better care. I'll be more present, right? I will put the, and I, and I walk people through the security procedure or so of stuff, but they went and did it unconsciously, right? Now they're doing it more consciously. Yeah. And so once they're in this mindset of actually being responsible, you start by being responsible with your money, 
then you start thinking about other kinds of responsibility, right? You start taking more responsibility for your own life. And that, of course, makes you freer. It makes you more independent of the, of the societal structures that we have created that have ultimately enslaved us. And I think, and I want to encourage everybody who listens to us now to talk about these things in the families, with the friends, because it's not common in the normal media, in the newspapers. We don't hear that, but we are able to communicate these things and then they are, are getting just normal for everyone. But it's not that now, but we can do this. And that's why we do these videos. Thank you, Eric, for this one. No, absolutely. And I, and I think you're exactly right. Dialogue is a very important part of uh, the functioning of societies and of families, of the family unit. Um, and it is, it is something that has, has largely been destroyed. People don't talk anymore. Uh, I mean, families are torn apart in this country because they have different political perspectives, right? Mm -hmm. And the reality is that they don't even understand the dynamics of the things that they supposedly support. You know, they, they everything's, everything's always, it takes, um, in some circles, they call it an opposable mind. It takes uh, the kind of perspective that is capable of seeing both sides of an argument that can take both sides. As a matter of fact, that's actually a great exercise. If you ever find yourself arguing uh, against something, try arguing for it, right? Try to understand the perspective that it would take to actually make a case for the thing that you're arguing against. Then you'll understand it better and you'll create that opposable mind that allows for actual dialogue with other people. Yeah. Because what happens now is we're so polarized that as soon as somebody says X, you go, oh, well, that person's on that camp and I'm just not talking to them. That's it. You know, it mm -hmm. just cut them out of your life. Yeah. And that's sometimes your brother or your cousin or, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tragedy really that we, that we don't talk to each other anymore. There's an old saying of the Indians, uh, something like, you have to slip into the moccasins of your opponent to get an idea what is really happening. I love that, yes, exactly. <laughs>